So far, we focus on the AC system. The A7 will also ask you basic questions about the cooling system. A stuck closed thermostat will cause overheating. What are the symptoms of a stuck open thermostat? A thermostat with a removable housing can leak at the ceiling surface due to a failed gasket or due to corrosion and pitting. The bypass hose is usually the route the coolant takes when the engine is warming up, when the thermostat is closed. These are often neglected and become a leak source. Reason being is that sometimes they are in a hard to reach place. The coolant specified for this vehicle is Gold Hybrid OAT. Using a hydrometer, I got a sample and it looks like it's the correct coolant. A 50% coolant to 50% water ratio should land us near the negative 35 mark on the purple scale. We are underprotected here. And here's another one. This one requires orange OAT coolant, aka Dex Cool. It looks like someone has changed it to the universal coolant. Common sense says that it should be fine leaving it this way. But for the test, know that the vehicle should have the proper coolant. Here, we would flush the universal green and replace it with the orange OAT coolant. A better way to test the concentration of the coolant is to use a refractometer. Add a sample to the test area and close it. Now point it at a light source and look into it. We have about a 25% coolant to 75% water ratio. The hydrometer showed that we had a 39% coolant to 61% water ratio. What are your recommendations for this vehicle? We could add pure antifreeze until the system balances out, or we could flush it and add the correct mixture. You can test the pH level of the coolant by using coolant test strips. The first test point is glycol percentage. It looks like we're right above 0%, below 25%. I would have expected it to be at least 25% because that's what the refractometer was telling us. The second test point is the pH level. And we are at about pH 9, which is good, but we are underprotected. So we should replace the coolant according to the test strips. Generally, the pH should be between 7 and 10, which is about a light green to green on this scale. If the pH is too low, the antifreeze has begun to deteriorate. It might have been a victim of electrolysis. At this point, it has become corrosive and it should be changed. If the pH is very high, there's too much antifreeze in the system. You can check for electrolysis by using a digital multimeter set to DC volts. Negative probe goes on the negative post of the battery and the positive probe goes into the coolant. Here, I have a plastic piece so I don't have to worry about touching a metal piece. You should see no more than 0.2 volts and we are right about at specification it looks good, now start the car and turn on some accessories like the radio, lights, AC. The voltage should remain the same. If it goes up, you might have a bad ground. Most likely the engine to frame ground. When searching for leaks, after a visual inspection, use a cooling system pressure tester and appropriate adapter to pressurize the system up to the rating on the radiator cap. The system should hold pressure. If not, obviously you have a leak. If the water pump is leaking from the weep hole, it must be replaced. Sometimes the gasket fails on an otherwise good water pump. If the system loses coolant, but there are no visible leaks, suspect the radiator cap. You can test these using the cooling system pressure tester 
and appropriate adapter for the radiator cap. You can purchase these adapters separately. Here we see that it holds pressure and if we pressurize it above its rating, it should open and vent that excess pressure. This radiator cap functions properly. Here's an example of a defective radiator cap. There's three more tasks that you can be questioned about, but these are really basic and you should have no problem with these. I'll end the video with two questions. Number one, a vehicle overheats at slow speeds, but not at highway speeds. What component is most likely at fault? A, cooling fan, B, thermostat, C, radiator cap, or D, the condenser. Number two, here's an old school style technician A, technician B question. Technician A says, Used coolant should be used to refill the system after changing a radiator hose. Technician B says that 100% antifreeze is the standard used to refill the cooling system. Which technician is correct? Have these videos helped you out? Subscribe to the channel to show your support. Have a good day.